All right, so continuing on, as you can see, we've cut the uh, left wing. Size-wise, you want it to measure up about as close as you can get it. Pretty darn close. You want to make sure that it measures up along with the uh, along with the left and right wings. So what we're going to do is after we've trimmed this thing, we're going to position it. We leave ourselves just about a thumb's worth of board in the middle, and that will serve a purpose here in a second. Keep in mind doing the same thing, turning the words down. Because remember, they need to face the same direction as the other ones. You measure about the same distance. Put a little uh, cleat inside of there. Drive that straight tube to the front. You can go ahead and fold that one over too. And then this outside one. Make sure the board sits about fairly close. And if your nail goes awry, it's okay. It's a no big deal. It's a nail. They tend to do that. Just put another one in. Got a good hole started. So that's going to become the cleat of the other side. So now you should have cleats on each side. Total of four, just in case you need it. But if you notice, we had a little excess board hanging over there. So we're going to trim this board off. I'm going to put on uh, my saw bit, which comes in the form of a Dremel tool. If you don't have one of those, you're definitely going to need it if you're making this. Trim that thing off really, really well. Nice and even up. It's a good looking set of wings. I'd take it up in the air. All right, next thing we're gonna work on is the tail, the landing gear, and the feet. And believe it or not, we make it out of these little parts that are left over. These two little squares that are right here. They will become everything that we need. So, what we're going to need to get is a board. Let me run and get that. For this, I'm using shorty boards. I've got a stack of them in the other room. Basically, small little boards that all measure up about the same. You don't necessarily have to have a measuring device for this. You can do it just right off of this. You want to make sure that your aluminum here is trimmed straight and you can do that by looking at the lines that are on the inside of there. You see all those little lines that are inside of there? Okay, so you want to measure out the board that's pretty close to about the same. Give it a little marking and trim that sucker off too. Once that's trimmed off, we're going to put our board inside of this aluminum, give it a little bit of space, make some creases, and fold it over. And man, looky there, we're making a tail. A tail of an aircraft that I'd be proud to take up myself. Okay? So, like any good aircraft, you want to make sure that it doesn't have any sharp edges or uneven edges, so you're going to trim the ends. Like I said, there is no stamp or anything like that that I use on my airplanes. Everything is done by hand. It's literally a crafted creation. When I uh, filed for my copyright on this as an artistic sculpture, that was uh, one of the things that I indicated in there. So, now what we've got is a good tail section. We just got to decide which side would look better. And uh, I'm a big one for markings. That's got the recycled symbol on it, which is what Prusen Studios is big into, is recycled art. So we're going to use that. We're going to make that the upside. So we're going to put a cleat on one side of the tail. 
down here on this end, fold it over, and we're going to put a cleat on this other end. You can use a hammer. I'm just using this mallet because it was handy. I already had it in here for my leather work. So fold that over. So basically what we've made is the tail section, tail wing section. Main wing, tail wing. Just like that. All right. Now this other little piece of aluminum right here is actually gonna become three pieces. And I look for the markings, like I said, so this is gonna become the tail. You're basically just cutting it in half, or pretty close to it. When you cut it in half, you wanna give it a nice little, uh, nice little fold, even up the edges right there. Kinda of shore it up, your pliers, so that when you fold it, it comes out more or less straight. Now we're actually gonna put a piece of steel in this to strengthen it up, because aluminum is traditionally not a stout metal but it works for what we're using it for so you fold it give yourself a good angle cut trim it and clean it up voila the tail of your airplane okay so that's going to sit right there you've got this last little piece that you're going to cut literally in half Okay, so once that's in half, you lay one on top of the other. It should come close to measuring just about right. You're gonna take these two pieces, one at a time, and fold it over. When you fold it over, you're gonna try to make it as even as you can. One. And two. And if you see any little areas in there that need trimming up your of course, are more than welcome to trim those areas up and get them nice and even. It'll look better on the general overall appearance of the airplane later on when it is through. All right, so you take these two that you just cut and you lay them side by side. And you want them to be laid where the bottom halves match up as best they can, where it's just even. You take your pliers and you grab it almost at the top and pinch in, even at the bottom, pretty close to even at the top. And once it's up here, you wanna open this up. To open it up, you just spread them. Spread that aluminum. And what that does is it'll make two even shaped legs. These are going to be the actual landing gear of the airplane. Now once you get them there, you can trim them up a little bit on the edges, take off the sharp edges. One of the things I definitely like to do. I know my customers don't like to be poked. So I trim them up and voila! Next we're going to work on the cockpit. The cockpit's pretty unique. I'm going to use this D, this BL. What I'm going to do is I'm going to trim it. And when I trim it, I'm going to trim it right around the base. And what I mean by trimming it around the base is right here. I'm going to trim off this bottom excess piece, that bell on the bottom. Okay? So, safety. Doesn't actually take much to get that bell off of there. And then what you want to do is take the center of the BL, give it a little marking. Make an incision on that thick lip. Reason for that is because it's real hard to cut through that thick aluminum. 
when you take your scissors and you line it up, you should be able to cut right through it, just like that. Okay. Once it cuts through, you take your needle nose pliers and you're going to bend it out, bend it out. Okay. Remember, it's aluminum, so you can kind of shape it. So you don't want to bend it too much because it needs to kind of stay in its original form. For aesthetic purposes. You see what I've done? All right. What we're going to do from here is straighten out the sides. Okay, trim the bottom, the base, it's nice and even and it sits flat. You're going to make sure that the sides are trimmed and even as well, around the edge. Take off this point, we're actually going to go in here and score cuts. We're going to save ourselves a little bit of room, so like that would be about the first cut from the edge. And then you're going to just make lines going up. Don't go up too far. If you go too far, we'll cut right into the cockpit part of it. This is the windshield for the cockpit. You want to make it pretty close to the other side so that it can even up. You come in here and you straighten all these out with your pliers to get them to lay down flat. You're going to give yourself a little bit of a bend, but not much on each side to kind of puff it out a little bit. Then I have to use, I know, Dos Equis, but it's the bottle aspect of it. A bottle to push these things out. And this bottle is actually pretty close to what the other one will be like. So when I get it to sit down, I'll push it down on there and get these little spears to separate out. so that it puts a little kink in it, so that it sits on my aluminum bottle a lot better. Okay, simple, simple. Now, we're gonna have to tap a couple of holes into this. That I've actually got a, a board that I use. These will be the screw holes that hold it onto the fuselage. Neato, right? This is where we can also start looking at our main body of the bottle. Move some of this other stuff out of the way. The main body is actually going to sit like this. And that's where you do it. That's what that one inch thing is for. So you're going to set the bottle there. When you set the bottle there, you're going to line it up how you want it. Mark where you want the cockpit to go. And the cockpit is a simple cut. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
Seven. Eight. Don't throw that piece away. We're actually going to use it. Now, to get the cockpit smooth, we're going to put a series of lines. usually about 12 so from about here back we're actually gonna push them down I should mention that these are older bottles that I'm working with the aluminum is a lot thicker the modern bottles unless you find the old style Modern bottles are thin. They're too thin to do this with. So it usually messes the, the newer bottles up. That's the cockpit. And just like any cockpit, it has to be lined up really well. So what you do is you lay it on there and you balance it. And when you find its perfect balance point, that's where we're going to mark it. The mark is simply just a sharp knife. We put a couple of holes in there and it punches a hole through to the wood. We take our drill. Punch out a couple of holes in there. You want to make sure that you get your holes straight. A couple of holes through there. Okay. Now, you can take a couple of screws. And these are uh, a box of screws that I actually get from uh, Walmart, places like that. They all work pretty good, actually. And uh, once you get your screws through there, the most important thing that you got to remember on this step of it is lining up the wings. And what I mean by lining up the wings is making sure you get the right side facing up. So you run those screws through there. So they look just like that. And they're going to line up with the holes in the bottom of this. Like that. Okay. So once they're lined up, you got to simply get the nuts. And this usually takes a little bit of handiwork. Because I, uh, I have not the smallest fingers in the world. Or the smallest hands in the world. You get them lined up. And you'll know when you get them in there because it'll actually grip. Tighten one down. The reason you want to tighten one down is so that you can keep the wings straight. And it may seem strange, but you set it down. Number one, it'll balance. But number two, you can look at it against another straight edge and make sure that it's straight. Make sure that it is exactly where the wing should be. When it's lined up, you take the other uh, nut, line it up on there if you can, and tighten it down.
sometimes you may have to grip that nut inside of there for a good set of needle nose pliers really comes in handy and once you get them in there and they get lined up and locked down into place you're starting to see it come together this is where you can test the, the balance of it by flipping it around it's like an airplane would fly with its wings flipping it around all right all right, we're going to go on with the next series.